Huawei just announced a new operating system called Harmony OS at its developer conference in China. The company said the Harmony OS is a microkernel-based distributed OS for all platforms including mobile phones, wearables, laptops, and televisions. The Chinese tech giant said the OS will be open-sourced with its own ARP compiler. It will also support existing Android apps. Huawei will first launch the OS on smart TVs, and it'll arrive on wearables and laptops by 2020. The company mentioned it will only use it if Android is not allowed on its smartphones. Harmony OS is microkernel-based, like Google's in-development Fuchsia OS. Huawei says that Fuchsia uses a non-distributed design, unlike the new Harmony OS. Performance is theoretically better than Android and other Linux-based operating systems, according to Huawei. Huawei says that Harmony OS uses a distributed virtual bus with a simplified protocol, rather than four layers, there is only one layer in the protocol stack to boost the payload efficiency. The effects of this change to simplify interactions are faster discovery and connections of hardware like the display, cameras, speakers, etc. Yet, this new OS is still plan B for the Chinese technology giant, since Huawei will need to solve the biggest hole in the adoption of Harmony OS, the app ecosystem. Huawei is building up its app gallery platform as an alternative to the Google Play Store, and this week the company unveiled Huawei Mobile Services as an alternative to Google Play Services. Huawei is in the process of building its own ecosystem, and if the trade ban doesn't lift by the end of this year or early next year, then Huawei will be forced to switch to Harmony OS for its new devices, including the upcoming Huawei Mate 30 series. In fact, Richard Yu confirmed that the Mate 30 did not receive certification to use Google Play services before the trade ban was enacted, so Huawei is considering using Harmony OS on the device if the ban isn't lifted in time. Huawei says that its new OS represents an entirely new generation of operating systems as it enables AI capability in different scenarios from PCs, tablets, and other domains. Huawei has already been internally testing its new operating system on multiple devices, though Richard Yu did not confirm I. F. The foldable Huawei Mate X was among those test devices. Mr. Yu says that many partners have expressed interest in developing products with Harmony OS, but he declined to provide names of the interested parties. In a press release, Huawei says they will lay the foundations for Harmony OS in the Chinese market, first before expanding it to the global market.